Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another uh, episode here at Spad's YouTube. Maybe if you're wondering kung anong ginagawa natin dito sa gitna ng dagat. As you can see, we are actually on board again at VRP Penglao, uh, one of the Coast Guard ship. We are invited again here at their event. This one is held at Iloilo City. Actually, district office of the Coast Guard here at Iloilo City. Uh, maybe you're wondering what's the event? Why we are here? We are covering the event. Uh, Van, ano yung event? The event ito is uh, SAREX or uh, Search and Rescue uh, Simulation Exercise. So, dinig namin. It's about uh, yung ano, merong collision. Yes. Dalawang barko na namag, uh, nagkabanggaan. And then, dito natin magkikita kung paano gagawin ng Philippine Coast Guard at mga uh, partner agencies. So, we are actually honored to be invited uh, in this event and we are actually covering the whole event so if you are intrigued on what's going on on that exercise or that simulation better stick around until the end kasi papikita namin lahat yung exercise yung ginagawa nila kapag may collision sa gitna ng dagat kung anong ginagawa so, actually yung area na ito is uh, ito yung area kung saan nangyari dati yung uh, trahedya like two, year, uh, two years ago three years ago yes. yung merong nalunod na tatlong pampos mga wooden Alpha yan. Yeah. So, parang yung area, nandito kami ngayon. So, dito rin yes. gaganapin yung uh, simulation exercise niya. So, if, maybe if you're wondering kung saan yung location natin ngayon. We are and actually then, at the Iloilo Ilo Strait. Strait. Sa likod namin, Iloilo. Ilo, and then, sa harap namin is Gimaras. Uh, Gimaras. So, right now, we're just waiting for the exercise to start. So, ayan. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and then follow our social media accounts para sa mga updates. Siyempre, exclusive tayo dito sa mga events ng Coast Guard. Ayan. So, let's go!
good morning. I'm Commander Noel Viramos, the Executive Officer of BRP Panglao Patrol Boat 2402. Uh, this morning we will conduct a search and rescue exercise. Uh, this exercise is to test the capability of all agency, particularly in the maritime industry. At ito'y para siyang whole government approach na agency. Okay. So ang scenario, may isang a certain vessel na papunta dito sa dito pam ilo industry nagka-aperya siya ng steering casualty. When we see steering casualty, kung baga sa sasakyan, wala siyang control sa kanyang manubela. Kasi nga, wala nga siyang control, may nabangga siyang isang motor bangka. Eventually, yung motor bangka na bangka niya nag-capsize. And then, uh, siyempre, pag nag-capsize siya, maraming mga victims na, na fell in the water, man overboard. And then, in a few minutes, yung a certain na barkong yun, nag ano siya, fire on board okay. siya. kaya ang scenario dito ay magkakandak tayo ng firefighting search and rescue and then medical evacuation uh, we have the Red Cross OCD and uh, Maritime Police Bureau of Fire Bureau, Bureau of Customs and our PCGA uh, Coast Guard Auxiliary DOH and sa ating mga shipping ngayon Okay. Pero hindi kami tinatamag na WASAR, yung WASAR training, nagkakontact din kami sa mga agency para pag may in case of na mga distress, lalo lalo sa water, na mga mishap, ready silang mag-rescue. Hindi lang yung ahasa sila sa customer natin kasi napakalawak ng karagatan. Kailangan din i-train natin ang ating mga constituent para sila mismo sa kanila, kaya nilang mag-rescue. Okay guys, so right now we're waiting here in the front of the boat kasi as you can see may ano, um, tapos may mga hose kasi later dito magaganap yung firefighting or yung simulation kung paano nila may extinguish yung fire oh. if ever na may fire sa collision. Actually as of now, hindi pa namin alam kung paano mag uh, uh, ano mangyayari mamaya basta yung sinabi na sa amin yung mayroong firefighting so oh. magkita na doon mamaya So ngayon, sabi daw nila next start na I don't know if you can see it Pero ayan, so mamaya siguro yung boat pupunta doon lalapit at saka magsisimulate ng ano ng parang bumbero na style. Ayan, may malaking boat and then sa likod niya may parang bangka passenger boat. So we're gonna see if yan yung simulation. <laughs> so let's go.
Una ka guro? Oo. As you can see, medical team continuously assist. Itong this activity, no, we conducted the search and rescue exercise to test the efficiency of the search and rescue plan that we made. Yun yung ating activity oh. ngayon na uh, this is a, uh, this will become an annual exercise. Not only today but also following succeeding years we will conduct this kind of exercise. The purpose of this exercise is to test the efficiency of our SAR plan and also to have uh, a good coordination with other agencies, government and non-government agencies uh, with regards to this kind of incident. But hopefully, sana, walang mangyari sa atin na ganito. No? Uh, sabi ko nga kanina na sa lahat ng aming function, kasi one of our function is maritime search and rescue, pinagdadasal na namin na sana itong aming function na to ay huwag sana mangyari. So, yun ang iniiwasan natin. That's the reason na kami sa Coast Guard ay talagang pinag-iigtingan namin ang trabaho namin with regards to the safety of all the vessels tayong hindi na wala sa area. Okay guys, so ayan, tapos na yung event. Very uh, brief and very concise yung event ng um, Coast Guard and not only Coast Guard, ang daming uh, nag-participate. Yes! Siyempre yung mga police, yung, yung Navy and dito kanina. If nakita nyo sa drone shot, meron doon parang gray ship na nataka, nagtaka ko kung uh, Coast Guard pa rin yun, Navy uh, pala oh. Galing pa si Bo actually yun eh uh, okay. Just for this uh, event alone So yes. pumunta talaga sila dito para sa SAREX o Search and Rescue Exercises na ginawa ng Philippine Coast Guard today Sabi nga ni Commodore Ibanez is yearly na gagawin ito itong uh, simulation exercise o itong SAREX na ito Yes, and also andito yung, ano, yung Army The Philippine and, Army, yeah, Philippine Phil National Police Yes. Uh, nandito rin, uh, Bureau, of Bureau of Customs. If nakikita nyo sa mga footage namin kanina, may nakita kayong nag-jet ski and then yung mga civilian uh, speedboats. 
Actually, ban ano sila? Iloilo Watercraft Association. So, sila uh, actually meron silang uh, agreement with the city uh, together with the Philippine Coast Guard, no? Uh, Mag-assist sila whatever kung ano man ang meron na mangyayari. Yes. Uh, hopefully sana wala, no? Uh, so, uh, ready sila na mag-assist anytime. So, to make it short, mga volunteers sila, pero yes. hindi hindi basta-basta ang volunteers lang kasi member din sila ng Philippine Coast Guard. Yes. Auxiliary. And Siyempre kaming dalawa, we are planning to be part of the auxiliary as yes. well. So, stay tuned if you want to know what's going on behind the scene if you want to be an auxiliary for the Coast Guard. Okay? So, ayan. Hanggang dito na lang yung video natin. Siyempre, subscribe, follow our social media accounts. Hashtag Dine Ivan. Hashtag Spads. As always, travel more, ride safe. Kita-kita tayo sa next video. Okay? Bye!